Space Coast, Habitat for Humanity is using three robots to build 3D printed homes. Fox 35's Marlisa Goldsmith introduces us to one of the families that's moving in. I feel blessed. I feel really, really blessed. Um, I've worked really hard, and it's something I've been looking forward to. Um, I didn't know I was going to get a house, but I feel like I'm going to be in a safe place. So I'm excited about that, some place for my family and I to grow up in. Mariah and her two kids will be moving into one of the first 3D painted homes in Melbourne, being built for Habitat for Humanity. It's something new. Um, even uh, the grandparents who have been with me the whole way have never seen one heard of one so this is not the 3d printer you're probably thinking of check out the builders behind mariah's home meet mary mary the bolt truck this truck delivers dry material that will be used to create these homes gary the dry material is delivered here to gary our mixing machine the dry material is mixed with water inside of the mixing machine. And Frank. Frank is a fourth generation construction 3D printer that's done some really amazing projects from setting the Guinness World Record for the largest 3D printed building on Earth to creating the first commercially permitted 3D printed building in America. In the end. You can see what the material looks like right when it comes out of the 3D printer. It's a pretty flat texture. Also what it looks like when it's painted, when there's a smooth coat of stucco, rough stucco or another veneer that goes on top of the wall. Mariah and her family can't wait to move in. It's a new experience, so I hope it's a good foot for the rest of anyone who needs this type of situation. So I'm, I'm excited to break the ground to, to open the doors to the new people that are going to experience the same thing I am. Marlisa Goldsmith, Fox 35 News.